it's hard to describe. <laughs> uh, I wish I could. Uh, it was a state of disbelief. At first, I just thought it was in a movie. I, I never knew that I would see him like that. It took time to adjust that actually him. His shirt was his, his fingers was his, his forehead was his, his jeans, the shoes on the floor. It was him, but I didn't want to believe it's him. Are you aware in terms of where the investigation is? Any arrests? What's, what's going on now? No, I'm not aware of anything. I have engaged the, with the special crime unit and the police here. Um, I'm not getting anything from them. They've told me that they are going to brief me when everything's ready. So I'm just playing patience card. Now, the Rwandan president, uh, Paul Kagame, has been uh, making statements to the effect that treason has consequences. Do you believe this was pointing a finger at your deceased uncle? I would say it's disappointing uh, uh, because uh, for starters you have to understand what treason means and I actually don't even know what he was referring to if he's actually pointing a finger to Karegea, the deceased, or if he was saying to somebody else. But uh, as a family it is something that is very heartening to find that somebody who is a father, somebody who is a leader uh, can air those statements in front of people, especially in a church where you are, I mean, if you are in church and you've gone to play, I would uh, conceive that the fundamentals of, of, of that would be the forgiveness and happiness and joy and anything that has to do with good. But when they are embedding threats, it's very concerning. So, so to the family, those kind of statements are not, uh, they have no reception. They, we, they are not welcome, and uh, I, I hope the world as a whole will take that exception, they will take exception to those kind of statements.